I'm Lindsay Beaton with Pet Food Forum TV here with Bob Annan of Extra Tech Inc. Thank you so much for being here, Bob. You're welcome. Um, one of your colleagues, Will Henry, is presenting at Pet Food Forum this week about some research that Extra Tech has been doing. Um, can you expand on that research a little bit and talk about how it's going to benefit the pet food industry? Certainly. Over the last few years, we have had clients contact us to break the mold, if you will, when it comes to a, a ultra premium pet food, a super premium pet food, a super pet food or whatever. And basically what that did was allow us to focus on two things. One being the raw material matrix and then two, um, the addition of a great deal of fresh meat. Mm -hmm. So um, you can sit back and say, okay, from a raw material standpoint, grain free as an example. So what that what that did for us was enabled us to take a step back and look at how we do things, what components we're going to use to get this accomplished, and what is the end result that we want, not only for the client but for our company as well. What have you learned from the trials? What did you learn from the research? Well, um, interesting enough, we learned that trial is a very interesting word because the more you get into something, the more you think you have it. Mm -hmm. Until you find out that, you know what, we don't have it after <laughs> hours and hours of, of trying. So it goes back to if we didn't get there, then let's sit down, let's start here, and let's try this. And if it works, then let's try this. And hopefully at the end, the trial will be a success. Mm -hmm. In our case, it was. So we were very pleased. And again, we had to do things just a little bit different than what we were used to. But it was also a good way to unlock the limits of single screw extrusion. Now, Extra Tech was also involved in our innovation workshop yesterday, yes. um, Next Generation Treats. Can you tell me a little bit about what you guys were doing there and what you hoped people would learn from the experience yesterday? What we wanted to accomplish there was to, first of all, get the attendees to think outside the box. Um, if you're going to talk a treat, if you're going to talk something that you're going to give to your companion animal, then think outside the box with regards to what do I want in a treat? What's the first thing I want in the treat? What do I want my dog to get out of it? Or my cat or whatever. So what we did was we picked a, a raw material, which is sometimes overlooked, and came up with a with a sorghum crisp. Mm -hmm. And that was part of the treat that was made yesterday. And again, it's a matter of had some of the attendees there looked at that for a possible raw material. Yes, some of them no but it's a matter of if this is what you want to do, if this is how you want to change things, then kind of change the way you think and change the way you look at a specific treat or a group of treats. And speaking of changing the way you look at things, Extra Tech is known for being committed to pet food safety, to yes. food safety overall. Um, what are some new things you're doing to help your customers achieve that goal in the current climate? One of the first things we do is come in and basically do a plant audit. Um, what do they have currently? How can we advance that equipment? Or basically, how can we enhance that equipment? Our clients have already made the, they, they've already made the purchase. So instead of saying, okay, you need to purchase something that's more hygienic, you need to purchase something that is more food safe, we look at it going, this will work. It's a matter of, here is an upgrade or an advancement that you can add to that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes inexpensive, sometimes a little more expensive, but it's not basically coming in and saying you have to replace everything. That's different if someone is building a brand new factory or a brand new facility. Right. Then it's a matter of here are the advancements now that weren't available five years ago, mm -hmm. seven years ago. These are hygienic pieces of equipment um, well on your way to a food safe facility once these are put into place. Now is there anything that you're looking at maybe more closely than you used to or any changes you've made because of the Food Safety Modernization Act that's, that's coming up? What we would like to have our customers realize is how long does it take you to do something now? Mm -hmm. 
how long would you like it to take you to do that in the future? Uh, for instance, um, how long does it take to clean a dryer? If it's taking you multiple hours, um, the solution that we've come up with with our new dryer is, hey, it might take you 15 minutes, it might take you 30 minutes, but it's certainly not going to take you near as long now with that new dryer as it did with the dryer that you currently have. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time, Bob. You're I really appreciate welcome. it. Thank you very much.